So, it's been almost a week now since Samurai Jack ended, and it's kind of sad to think that because the fans just had so much fun watching all the episodes, and it's already over. It's, it could have honestly used at least one more episode, <laughs> or at least have the last episode be an hour long because one of the biggest complaints was that it was rushed, along with the ending that people just weren't too keen on, myself included. And a lot of people have just been going and begging Gindy to make an alternate ending for the final and everything like that. And maybe I'll make a video on that pretty soon. And just about, pretty much about if the ending was the right choice or not, should, should they have gone for a different ending. But with that aside, it's already over and it we had to go and move on to another show. This was the show I was looking forward to every day for just the past two months and now I already had to find a new one. But I've been thinking about what other shows that Adult Swim could possibly reboot because Samurai Jack for the most part did work. It, it wasn't perfect but it was still a really good show and it was a great way to go and bring it back to a now adult audience as well as some kids who didn't see it when when they were little because they didn't exist and they've really never even heard of it. So I've been thinking of some old Cartoon Network shows that maybe Adult Swim can go and reboot and put on there because there are plenty that they could really do and I would really like to see some. Some people are saying that Johnny Bravo is supposed to go and get remade. I don't know about that. It's just, is it going to be about Johnny Bravo getting in bed with women? It's just, it's weird to think that, but I, I brought up some, up some shows that I think that Adult Swim could come back and make, and put, they could go and put on Adult Swim. Teen Titans. This show ended on a cliffhanger. It ended with Beast Boy trying to convince this one girl that she was Terra. But the girl said she wasn't Terra and that he needs to move on. And that's where it ended on. We don't know if she was Terra or not and it just... That was the last episode. And that was over 10 years ago now. Teen Titans ended over a decade ago. And, and the sad thing is... The sad thing is... Teen Titans Go has lasted longer than the regular Teen Titans. Teen Titans started in 2003 and ended in 2006. Teen Titans Go! started in 2013 and is still going. In no universe should that ever happen. I don't care how messed up that universe is, that shouldn't happen, that should not exist. Yet, it exists in our universe. So, I think this could be a really good show to go and bring back. They could go and get away with a ton of more stuff. The humor in it was always, always really funny and they, uh, the action was always really good too, but they can honestly get away with a lot more because, like in any other show, if they were going to go and have someone die, they couldn't show it on screen. They would have to go and just cut away right before they died. This show, they could go and have someone falling <clears throat> from a cliff and they don't have to cut away. They can show the person dying. So, th that's just one thing that but they can make, make it really good. They can just also make the characters a little bit better. They can maybe age them up a few years, maybe make all of them in their late teens or so, showing that they have progressed over the last few years and, and all that. So, and they can even maybe change their caters a little bit, maybe make um, Beast Boy a little bit more serious than he was in the original series. Still have him as the funny guy, of course, but they could still go and change it up a little and to show them how the characters have matured. They could also maybe have Batman maybe make a cameo or something. I mean, they could have done that in the final, but they never did. And they could also answer a bunch of a bunch of unanswered questions like what happened to Terra? They could finally go and give that away and I don't know if they ever did in Teen Titans Go but if they did, that doesn't count, that's on Canyon, I don't care. Teen Titans Go is stupid, just 
This would be a much better show, I guarantee. Even if you were to go and show the original Teen Titans to a bunch of kids, they would say the original Teen Titans is better, just like the original Powerpuff Girls. So, Teen Titans, I think that would be a really good show to reboot. I would love to see it back, and just for it to get, give it a proper season final. And if they did, make it longer than 10 episodes, okay? 10 is just, just rushing it. Make it 15 or so, just 10 isn't too enough, and Samurai Jack proved that. Courage the Cowardly Dog. This show was just so great back in the day. I loved it. Just, I, I always looking up, like looking up clips on YouTube of, of Courage back in the day, and when I was little, Courage did manage to scare me a bit. It, it had some scary imagery. It, it had, um, King Ramesses, it, it had that black queen puddle queen, it had Freaky Fred, there was a ton of creepy energy in there, and they, they did a good job with it. And just think what they could do with a more mature series, they, they could maybe actually scare us, scare us to the point where we're sitting in bed and going like, I can't sleep tonight, I still have that image stuck in my head. They could just get away with a lot more. Courage the Cowardly Dog, it, it ended way too soon. I think it only had about three seasons or so, but it, it should have lasted a lot longer. And the fact that it didn't is just really sad. I, I would really like to see the show back because there was just so much potential it had. And they, I don't know why they had to go and end it just after a few seasons. And it, it has had, I think, a few shorts since then, but it hasn't officially come back. It's, it is still technically ended. So I, I don't know what the voice actors are up to today, so they might have to get some new people. I, I know that the original Eustace voice died back when the series was still airing and they had to replace him. I'm not sure if maybe the guy who replaced him has since died himself, so they would have to replace him again. But, <clears throat> Courage the Cowardly Dog, that would be a really good series to, to go and bring back. They could get away with so much more and just make it to the point where we're actually just going and making this, these weird faces at whenever the show is making scary images. Kids Next Door. Interesting for this one. It, they did actually try to bring the show back. The creator, he, he was trying to bring it back about a year or two ago, but unfortunately, it never came back. And from what I remember, it had an older adult, adult um, number one, and he was at this place, and he was, I guess, joining the Galactic Kids Next Door, and, and uh, Chad was begging him not to. I think that's what was it. But then it was also kind of weird because the other... The other members looked like they were still kids, so I, I don't really understand what was going on, but it looked like it could have been really good. I I was looking forward to it, but Cartoon Network never picked it up, and it could have been a great sh sequel series, because Kids Next Door on itself was really good. I loved watching it. It was, <laughs> it was great, and they were showing it on Boomerang a few months ago, and then they quit showing it and show the 2016 Powerpuff Girls instead, even though Boomerang is meant for older shows, not stupid crap that they're showing on regular Cartoon Network right now. So, Kids Next Door, they could make it so much darker. It, it was kind of a dark series on its own, but what else could, could they do with this? Maybe they could actually show some adult killing a child? I mean, Maybe that actually would be too adult for Adult Swim, just way too violent, but they could get away with a lot more. They, they, they even had the adults trying to kill children in the original series, so who is to say they won't do it on this one? I, I would love to see a, a sequel series where all the kids are, are older and they're maybe on the teens next door, and then you also have a bunch of old friends who are thinking about joining the Teen Next Door, but then they end up, end up 
joining the Teen Ninjas and betraying them. And that it could just be about betrayal, growing up, getting, just going away from the past. They, they could make it a really good series. And I don't understand why Adult Swim didn't do it. Or Cartoon Network. So maybe Adult Swim will go and say yes to the series since Samurai Jack worked. I can only hope and just to see it back on air would be great. The Powerpuff Girls. This is very unlikely to happen because it's already on Cartoon Network again, but it doesn't work. It's terrible. I hate it. It took everything about the Powerpuff Girls and just took made it bad. They took away Miss Bellum because she's too sexy. They made the mayor and even the professor extremely stupid. They took all the old villains and just made them pathetic waste. And they took the girls and just took their traits and mixed all this other stupid stuff with it. It's just... Oh, and it's just... Oh, you can tell it's written by feminists. I mean, but even Tumblr feminists don't like it. When, when the people who are going to try and who it's targeted to don't like it, you know it's really bad. It's just a disgrace to the original series, and it's mostly because um, the original creator, McCracken, isn't involved in it. And that's often a problem. When, when a creator leaves a series, the show just won't be good anymore. It, it's going probably going to fall. Maybe once in a while they'll find the right guy, but that is extremely rare. It, it almost never happens, and just think of The Simpsons, um, what else? There was one show I just had on my mind and I forgot, um, see The Simpsons, I can't think of it anymore, so. But there were just, Spongebob, that's why I was, Spongebob. There were just so many series where the creator left and it got bad and they should have just ended it right there, but. With this show, it, if McCracken were able to come back on a more adult Powerpuff Girls, it might work. They, they could do a lot more. They, they already had a ton of sex jokes in the original series, and it was already pretty violent to begin with, so... It, it, I think it could work, because the stuff was already in there. It just wasn't as visible. They, they were just more hidden back then, so... This time, they won't really have to hide it, because... It would be given to a more adult audience, so I think that would be pretty cool. <coughs> the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This was pretty much the Invader Zim of Cartoon Network. It, it was pretty much Cartoon Network's mo most adult show, and it, you can pretty much see why. It, it always had just a bunch of people getting killed left and right, and just this very, very dark humor that you wouldn't expect in a kid's show. It, it was pretty dark, and they could take it up to number 11 in a sequel series. So, what I guess what they could do in a sequel series is maybe instead of just focusing on a different adventure every time, they could have a continuation series. Maybe just Billy and Mandy and Grimm have to do something to save the world or whatever, so they go on this quest. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything, but... I think a continuation series would be, be pretty good. I mean, it, it could still do this the everyday thing, but I would like to see that. And just, they could get, get away with a lot more. I'm, I'm still wondering if maybe they should do that childish um, animation, or maybe they should make it more of an, just more of an adult kind of animation. I'm not sure how to describe that, but um, just make it more mature looking, I guess. But to me, seeing Grimm and Mandy come back would be would be awesome because it was already a good show to begin with. But maybe they could also do, also say why Grimm has a Jamaican accent. It still doesn't make really any sense. But <sighs> Ben Ten, this show actually premiered when I was starting to turn away from. Cartoon Network, but I did still see the original series, and I thought it was okay. It was pretty good. I, uh, I mean, I enjoyed it for the most part. I didn't really see any of the sequel series, so I don't know really, really what to say about those, but 
As for the original series, I liked it. The only problem with this is that they're bringing it back, and the animation just looks so stupid. Why is it every time they bring back a show, they just ruin it as much as they can? Oh. I think they could bring back an Adult Swim, <clears throat> and maybe just uh, make maybe make a continuation series. Just and they, they could gear towards the people who grew up with it. The kids who grew up with it are now about a little bit younger than me in their late teens, so they could definitely watch it. They wouldn't have a problem with it, but it it could probably pre be pretty violent. Just seeing Ben go and knock all these villains in this. Tearing heads off, just it, it would be kind of like Samurai Jack, where he kills killed the villains in those. So, who's to say that it wouldn't work? A Ben 10 ser series, I think, would be really nice and would bring in some new fans who may have not liked the original series. So, Cartoon Network, do that. Not the new one you're doing right now. The one I thought of, because even though I'm not a writer. I came up with a better series than you, with even with describing it just as bad as I did. Scooby-Doo. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell would they make a Scooby-Doo on Adult Swim? That, that sounds stupid. Hear me out. What if they maybe did it sort of like Mystery Incorporated? That was a continuation series, it was a little bit more darker, and they actually gave the characters bigger personalities. Just think what they could do with that if they just took it in a little bit more. I think it could really work. The only question is, would they would they go and just have the regular thing where it's just a guy in a suit, or would they have real monsters? That would be up for them to decide, but I, I would really, li really like to see this. They could go and show um, Daphne and Fred doing their normal stuff, maybe be more open-minded about how they're just in a relationship and show them in bed. Or maybe if they want to, they could have Shaggy as a stoner because a lot of people have already said he is a stoner. So maybe they went, kept, could have one episode where he's just like, Scoob! Oh, what up, man? So <laughs> they could do just a lot more of it. I'm, I'm sure there would be some Scooby-Doo fans who wouldn't like it, and I completely understand that, but I think it could be pretty cool. Justice League. So, with the Justice League movie coming out, this could work out really well. And with um, the movies being more geared towards adults, even though they are for family, I think this, this could be really cool. The, the original series on itself was really great, I loved it, and I still remember it. I, I didn't really watch Unlimited that much. I, to me, there were just way too many characters in that. There were just new character, new character, new character, new character, new character, new character. Okay, okay, quit adding these guys. Just show the original people. If you want to have a new superhero once in a while, I'm okay with that. But just stick with the original guys. They're the ones we like. So I would really like to see this. They could have just all the villains team up and do all this insane stuff, go and beat up a bunch of citizens to a pulp, have Joker do his crap, have Lex do his crap. It would just could just be really great and and just have Batman kick ass. Oh, I, it would just be really, really great. As long as they have the, what, who is it, Michael Kinway or something who voices Batman, uh, I forgot his name, but just have him as Batman and the guy who plays Superman in the series as Superman. Just, they should have the roles. And of course, have um, the, the, the original Joker voice. So, that's all I really have to say for this. I I really can't think of any more shows I'm gonna know. It's pretty much all the other shows I watched, I don't think would really work on Adult Swim, or would just pass my time and don't really care for it, or, or they're still on Adult Sw or Cartoon Network right now, so I, I think most of these shows probably could work for the most part. I mean, some would work better than others, but pretty much I would, would like to see at least one of these just get on there and just 
just to go and continue the series because if Samurai Jack could work, why wouldn't it any of these? As long as the original creator did come back. So, if you're a smart Adult Swim, you take one of these and make it, make it get to work. Don't do what Cartoon Network does. Take it and then just put a bunch of all these memes in there and whatever. No. Make a really good series. The, the only thing I think you shouldn't do is just make it short like you, we did with adults with Samurai Jack. That's, it was just a little too short. They could have made a few more episodes, but if you make any of these a little bit longer, I think you could have a big seller and just your ratings will skyrocket. At least that's my opinion. If, and if you don't think any of these will work, that's your opinion. I don't care, but to me, these will. And I really hope that one day Adult Swim takes some of them.